let's see how to express transmission parameters or ABCD parameters in terms of Z parameters. We know that T parameters are defined as V1 is equal to a v2 plus b i2 and i1 is equal to c v2 plus d i2. So now we are trying to expressing t parameters in terms of z parameters. So we should keep the ABC, the T parameters as it is constant. That is, this is equation number 1 and this is equation number 2. Now, let us define the Z parameters. Z parameters are defined as V1 is equal to Z11 I1 plus Z12 I2 and V2 is equal to Z21 I1 plus Z22 I2. We will call it as equation number 3 and 4. Now observe equation number 2 and equation number 4 here. Here equation number 2 begin with I1 is equal to C V2 plus D into I2. So here we have V2 term we have I2 term and even we have I1 term. So now we will try to represent equation number 4 in terms of I1. So I can write equation 4 can be written as I will represent equation 4 as minus Z21 I1 is equal to V2 minus uh, take it as plus z21 i1 is nothing but v2 minus z22 i2 or i can write it as i1 is equal to v2 by Z21 minus Z22 by Z21 I2. You can write compare equation 2 with equation 5. So now I can write here in equation 5 the coefficient of V2 is. 1 upon z21 here equation 2 coefficient of v2 is c therefore i can write c is equal to 1 over z21 similarly here coefficient of i2 is minus z22 by z21 and here the coefficient of i2 is uh, d so here i can write D is equal to Z22 by Z21. So, thus I have expressed C and D of ABCD parameters in terms of Z parameters. Now, let us see how to express A and B in terms of Z parameters. Now, observe equation number 3 with equation number 1. In equation 3, we have V1 term. Here we have V1 term. In equation 1, we have I2 term. Here we have I2 term. In equation 1, we have V2 term. But in this equation, there is no V2 term. So, we will try to bring V2 term in this equation. So, now we will substitute equation number 5, that is I1 value in equation number 3. Equation 5 in 
3. Therefore, I can write it as V1 is equal to Z11 I1 is V2 by Z21 V2 by Z21 minus Z22 by Z21 I2 and we have plus Z12 Z12 I2 we will simplify this equation I can write it as Z11 by Z21 V2 minus multiplying this with this term Z11 Z22 divided by Z21 I2 plus Z12 into I2. Now we will simplify this further. I can keep this term as it is Z11 by Z21 V2 minus I will take I2 term common here so that I can write Z11 Z21 divided by Z21 minus Z12 applying this further I can write it as Z11 by Z21 V2 minus I2 in bracket taking Z21 as LCM I can write it as Z11 Z21 minus Z12 Z21 equation number 6 now comparing compare equation 6 with equation 1 we get a is equal to that is coefficient of A is V2. Here coefficient of V2 is Z11 by Z21. Therefore A is equal to Z11 by Z21. Similarly the coefficient of I2 is B. Here coefficient of I2 is this entire term. Therefore I can write B is equal to Z11 Z21 minus Z12 Z21 divided by Z21. So this is expressing A parameter in terms of Z parameter and this is V in terms of Z parameter. T parameter is equal to a, B, C and D which is equal to in terms of Z parameter as A is Z11 by Z21, P is Z11, Z21 minus Z12, Z21 divided by Z21 and C is 1 over Z21 and D is Z22 by Z21. So this is expressing T parameter in terms of Z parameters. Thank you for watching.